And just another thing, not only is this completely unacceptable, but it calls into all question the integrity and ethics of Golf Galaxy as a business, and you guys should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Be the right club today. Yes! What's going on, guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the bench. And today I want to go over something that um, has come to my attention that really I've never seen before and it's gotta happen. I mean, I imagine it has to happen and I've worked in retail for a very long time and you know, people are shady when they do returns, they return stuff, says it wasn't used, etc., etc. But this is what happened. Phil, member of our three putt bogey crew, was having some issues with his uh, G425. So we were gonna mess around with the weights a little bit, reshaft, all that kind of stuff. So when we were at the simulator and we were testing it out, I was like, okay, let's try messing around with the Hosel adapter and see if we turn it down, open it up, change the settings on the Hosel, like, you know, our set here and you can absolutely do. So when we got to it and I unscrewed it, the damn thing wouldn't come out of the club head. It would, it, I mean, it was no twist, no turn, nothing. It was stuck. So then we're like, okay, you know, he's like, I've never used it. I've never messed with it. I just kept it standard. So I'm like, okay, it's been in there for, you know, a year or so. So yeah, maybe there's dirt or something in there that kind of got it stuck up. So we couldn't leave it alone. <laughs> so we kept messing with it, messing with it. Eventually we got it out. And what happened is when he purchased this at Golf Galaxy, it was completely wrapped, nothing, you know, it's not like it was pre-owned or anything like this. This was a brand new club when he bought it. So when we took it off, if you can see on this hosel, now I've cleaned it up slightly, but do you see all of that schmutz on there? It was all over this hosel. And when you looked inside of, or all over that adapter, and when you looked inside the hosel of the club, it was all full with white dust. Now, anyone who has done club work, and here's some example of it right over here, but when epoxy dries, it turns into this white, flaky dust. See that? That's dried epoxy. And that was everywhere. So we're thinking like, did someone epoxy this into the hosel? And there's no other reasoning why it would have been like this. Now, had Phil, I suppose, tried to change this early, he would have realized it. But here's why they did it. The more I inspect this, the more it's coming to light why they had done this. So I'm going to remove the screw here. So I don't know how clear this is gonna be. I'm trying to do two things at once here and I, but right here is a hairline fracture in the tip of the adapter. And if you rotate it, there's another one right here. You can actually see the, the change in the paint color. That's not a scratch, that is a crack. And then here, the crack actually goes from the tip all the way down to in here. So when you look at it this way, you can see those cracks in the screw, which makes me believe that someone got this as a Christmas present or whatever kind of present last year, was really excited, took the screw out, wanted to change it and changed it, right? Then they put it back in and they over torqued this screw so hard that they actually cracked the adapter. Never seen this before. And now freaked out, they're like, hey, the cellophane's still on here. Let's just glue everything back together and return it. And that's what they did. And unfortunately, Phil, not to any of his knowledge, picked this club up thinking it was new, not knowing what had happened. And this is what he got stuck with. So I guess the moral of the story here is when you go to buy one of these off the shelf uh, at any local store, take it apart and check it out. This was just eye-opening for me. Um, 
but it's no big deal. We're gonna replace it out. So uh, he's gonna get a new adapter that we're gonna put in there anyway. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention because I am shocked and whoever did this, you should be absolutely ashamed of yourself. Um, if you return this Ping G425 to the Golf Galaxy in Greenville, South Carolina, and you're watching, you know who you are, and shame on you. I hope you step on a Lego with your bare feet. All right, so maybe I was a tad bit animated in the beginning of the video, but um, wow. Now, while this is all easily fixable, at the end of the day, Phil didn't truly get a new driver. So on a technicality, I believe, and if you agree with me, comment below, that Phil gets a hall pass from his wife to be able to get a new driver. So Phil's wife, if you're watching, we all agree that he should be able to get a new driver because technically he never did get a new driver. So just trying to look out for you, bud. Until next time, make sure you swing as hard as you can just in case you hit the fairway. G2 out. Four. Straight down the middle. It went straight down the middle.